In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we praise you and we bless you and we thank you for this academic year. We thank you as well for all the academic and all the achievements that the students have accomplished throughout this year. We ask you to bless this convocation, bless all those who have participated in this, and we continue to ask you to inspire us through their example to continue this great tradition of academic achievements. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. So we are here to celebrate the end of the year with uh, the awarding of a number of recognitions. Uh, this is actually also the last uh, formal event that the seniors will be participating in with the entire school present. So, uh, so I ask the seniors in particular to uh, set the great example for the rest of the school as we go through these uh, awards and recognize both faculty and students for their accomplishments during the course of the year. Uh, I am going to start off, uh, we are going to be presenting the Miser Family Prize Award, which goes to a couple of teachers. Uh, before I do that, I since uh, we typically have a, a couple of staff members who are retiring, I also want to acknowledge them and let the student body uh, recognize them. So this year, uh, we do have two retirements that are taking place. Uh, Miss Jean Williams is retiring after 40 years in education, 15 years here at the academy. And Mr. Larry Bartek is officially retiring from the district, but he will likely be coming back in some sort of part-time capacity next year. So if you could please uh, just give a round of applause and kind of reach it out. Now the Miser Family Prize is an award that's given out both in the fall and in the spring. In the fall, the class, the reunion classes are allowed to select the recipients of that award. In the spring, it is uh, an award that is guided by the recommendations of a select group of folks as determined um, both past recipients, some faculty representatives, some student representatives, and some parents and alumni representatives. Uh, John T. Miser is a member of, uh, was a member of the class of 1952, and he believed that his personal development and that of his classmates was powerfully influenced by the excellence of the teachers with whom he came in contact with, as well as a cadet at St. Thomas Military Academy. So he created the Family Miser Prize to acknowledge their achievements, both for the retired faculty and current faculty who act as excellent role models for you guys and, have, and ultimately have a lifelong positive influence on your lives. Uh, the Spring Miser Prize uh, is going to be awarded to Colonel Mike DiPuglio, Lieutenant Colonel Mike DiPuglio. Colonel, come on up. Now, in addition to receiving a check for the prize of $2,500, Colonel, <laughs> Colonel DiPuglio will also be receiving a set of comments from the 
folks who nominated him. Uh, I am going to uh, use just one comment from Cadet Colonel William A. Laban, uh, who was one of the numerous people who nominated Colonel DiPulio. Colonel DiPulio is one of the strongest teachers and administrators at St. Thomas Academy. Colonel finds a way to connect with students on a personal level while still maintaining the integrity and appearance of the military program. I believe this is one of Colonel's last years at the Academy, so I believe he deserves some appreciation for the things he has to plan, accomplish, and deal on a day with on a daily basis. Often I believe his work goes unnoticed, even though he does so very much for the school. And Jen Lovegreen from the Mothers Club uh, wrote that having a teacher with his military background is priceless. He teaches discipline, respect, and honor to young men who think the world of him. He is a great mentor to our cadets. Colonel DiPulio, congratulations, and I'll open the mic for you. Thank you, Mr. Mose. I would like to thank the Miser family for this significant honor. I would also like to thank my colleagues uh, that I work with day in and day out here at the Academy. They're a great group of uh, teachers, administrators, and staff members, but most of all, it's all about you guys. I love being with you. God bless you. Our second recipient has been described by uh, one of the nominators as one of the most genuine teachers at St. Thomas Academy. He is consistently educating and coaching students in an appropriate way so that they can fully understand their subjects. Mr. Westerbeck stays late after school to work with the students and coach. Our second recipient of the Miser Prize is Mr. Eric Westerbeck. Wow. Um, I'd like to thank the uh, Miser family for the wonderful gift. Um, it is very nice to see the Miser family support the teaching of St. Thomas Academy. I'd also like to thank the students um, for making this just a really awesome year. And I just can't tell you how great it feels to see you guys and know my seniors are graduating and you're going to have a great summer. God bless you and thank you for the award and all who voted for me. Next, I would like to invite up Mr. John Kenny, who will be presenting the Chris Hannigan Leadership Award. This award is very special to me because Chris and I were classmates as well as teammates. Chris had an uncommon drive, positive attitude, and a, the ability to make things happen. As the captain of the 85 basketball team, he led St. Thomas Academy to an appearance in the state tournament. His leadership inspired his teammates to defeat three of the top ranked teams and wrote, and wrote to winning the Region 3 AA and state consolation championships. He was a leader on and off the court and he helped push his teammates to do the best that they could. The award this year is worth approximately $5,200 and goes to two juniors who have demonstrated leadership similar to what Chris provided. I would like to recognize Chase Foley and Matthew Goldad as the 2017-18 Chris Hannigan Scholarship winners. Come on up, guys.
Good morning. Seniors, before I make my announcements, Mr. Seidel needs you to stay in the court at the conclusion of the program. Some logistical information about your senior projects has to be given to you. So seniors, please make sure you stay put, okay? The first award I have the pleasure to announce is the Tom Melchow Endowed Scholarship. Tom Melchow was a swimmer here in the 1980s. Some of us are old enough to have taught Tom. He left here and he went to the University of Michigan where he was an all-American swimmer and he became a two-time Olympian swimmer. Tom and his family have endowed a scholarship that each year rewards two members of the swim team who have demonstrated a plethora of talents. It not only involves their accomplishments here, but involves their character, their development as a club swimmer, and all of that is monitored by Mr. Barnes. And at the end of the year, he provides the names of two people that have met all the criteria. It's a significant cash award for these young men. The two recipients this year of the Tom Melchow Endowed Scholarship are J.T. Howard and Lorenzo Figueroa. Please come forward. I admire the enthusiasm this early in the program. All right. The next set of award winners are a group of seniors who are athletes, who from their first semester as freshmen through the end of their first semester as seniors have a GPA of 3.65 or higher, which is a remarkable accomplishment. In addition to that, they have been selected at least once as an all-conference athlete. That, that's a pretty high bar to reach, and so these people deserve to be recognized. Please hold your applause until all of them have come forward. For swimming, Charlie Andreg. For swimming, Jack Foster. For band, Patrick Gary. Don't scoff at that. Patrick is very talented as a musician. <laughs> For swimming, Danny Lee. For swimming, Kenny McDonald. For soccer, Alex Matthews. For swimming, William Maylaben. For swimming, Michael Nigerian. For soccer, Michael Newcomb. And for football, TJ Wright. Join me in congratulating these people. All right, these, this next group of athletes have been selected as all state in their respective sports. Please hold your applause until they've all been announced. See the murmur guys, not cool, okay? Part of what we're recognizing today is exceptional accomplishment. And as a community, that's a worthy thing to do, all right? So respectfully listening to their names is the least you can do. Please pay attention. All state athletes, Emmanuel Bird for soccer. Michael Newcomb, soccer. Robbie Stucker, hockey. William Burns, swimming. Jack Foster, swimming. Jacob Jaron, swimming. 
J.T. Howard swimming. Danny Lee swimming. Kenny McDonald swimming. William Mayleben swimming. Michael Nigerian swimming. Jack Kodak rifle team. Riley Miller rifle team. Seth Olson rifle team. And Caleb Rutgers rifle team. Please join me in congratulating these athletes. It's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Wendy Short Hayes, director of the VISTA program. Good morning. Our fall show, The Spitfire Grill, received numerous outstanding awards from the Spotlight Music Theater program. And I'm happy to announce that we just received news at the end of last week that our production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat also received an outstanding overall production award. This means we will participate on the 13th of June in a performance at a, a medley from both shows at the State Theater in downtown Minneapolis. At this time, I would like all of the students involved in the cast and crew for both of those shows just to rise so that we can give you a round of applause. Thank you. Technical theater is where the magic is made and the basis for great storytelling. Our VISTA crew is actively involved and dedicated to the process of making scripts come to life. This year, the Excellence in Technical Theater Award honors a student who has willingly taken on any task, small or large, with joyful optimism. He is dedicated, focused, and a steady leader. We have truly appreciated his teamwork and leadership. We honor Matt Peters with the Vista Productions Award for Excellence in Technical Theater. <laughs> Father Thomas Kohler founded the Vista Theater Program. It was his belief that the creation of art, and particularly theater, was offering a prayer to God. He valued dedication, creativity, and talent. It is in his honor that we present this award every year. This year, we honor a cadet who brought his substantial talents to our stage, creating bold, believable characters. His level of performance is very impressive, and it is supported by his careful preparation and focus during the rehearsal process. This year, we honor Eric Vick with the Father Kohler Excellence in Acting Award. The Theater Dedication Award recognizes a student who does more than just show up for rehearsals or crew. This year we honor a student who has consistently impressed us with his steady work and evolving talent. He has taken almost every opportunity to become involved throughout his four years. He quietly and persistently worked to deepen his knowledge of the craft of acting, and it has been through many, many roles that we have watched his efforts bring so many wonderful moments to our stage. It is my honor to recognize Joshua Wankel for his dedication to our program and to the art of theater. The 
VISTA award recognizes a student who has shined in all aspects of VISTA productions. This year we honor a student who has honored us by being completely immersed in our program. He has taken every opportunity we have to offer, crew, improv, fall shows, full, full circle, theater council, and four musicals. He has honed his leadership talents by being a dedicated member of the theater council. He truly respects the art of theater and no role is too small or task too great for this talented and dedicated student. He approached every role, every moment with energy and respect and I'm honored to recognize Will Tracy for this year's VISTA Award. Now I'd like to welcome Sarah Reilly to the stage. The Most Valuable Artist Award for both high school and middle school is awarded to the Spring Art Show winners for their dedication to the arts and their overall body of work. We had a lot of talented cadets submit their work this year. Mr. Mattis and I are both very blessed and honored to work with such talented students. Um, this year's most valuable high school artist for his collection of locomotive photography is Alan Nix. The recipient for most valuable middle school artist this year is William Guttery. And now to present the Science Awards, Ms. Sonia Jaworski. The Bausch & Lohm Honorary Science Award is a $40,000 scholarship that is given to a student who is accepted and enrolls in the University of Rochester in Rochester, New York. The award goes to a junior who demonstrates outstanding achievement in math and science. The 2017 Bausch & Lohm Honorary Science Award goes to Nicholas Kern. The Rensselaer Medal Award is a $100,000 scholarship, yeah that is given to a student who is accepted and enrolled in Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. This award goes to a junior who demonstrates outstanding achievement in math and science and significant involvement in extracurricular activities. The 2017 Rensselaer Medal Award winner is Alex Moeller. And now Mr. Tarasky with the Latin Awards. Good morning. The National Latin Exam Awards are given to those students who have shown excellence in the comprehension of the language, the culture, the history, and the religion of the ancient Romans. The NLE this year was given to over 153,000 students in the United States and 20 other countries. We've once again beaten the national average with 50% of our students who took the exam receiving awards. Today, however, we will only recognize the silver and gold medal recipients. Receiving silver medals, Maxima Cum Laude, Teddy Farrell for Latin One, Lance DiCapia for Latin Two, Devin Klein, Latin Two, and Thomas Thurlow, Latin Two. Receiving gold medal, 
summa cum laudes, Kaysen Willman for Latin two, his second gold award, Vincent Motzel for Latin three, William Tracy for Latin five, Joseph Boyle for Latin five. Both of these last two will also be receiving the Carter Stubbs Drake Goad Memorial Book Award for receiving five successive gold medals. Now, Mr. John Douglas. Every year, the moderators of the citation bestow the Thomas J. Pauley Editor's Award upon the editor of the school newspaper who has shown particular devotion to his role. This year, the student who is receiving the award consistently wrote engaging and thoughtful articles for each issue generated solid ideas at meetings, and demonstrated real leadership through the dedication he has shown to the citation over the past two years as an editor. We are proud to present this year's Thomas J. Pauley Editor's Award to Jacob Weinstein. The St. Michael's College Book Award for Academic Achievement with a Social Conscience recognizes students who exhibit the characteristics of an ideal St. Michael's student based on achievement in academics and social conscience evidenced through commitment to community service, issues of peace and justice, and concern for others. This year's award goes to Brendan Naranjo Hull. The College of the Holy Cross Book Award is given to a junior who presents exceptional academic excellence and overall personal qualities and shows sincere concern for others and a responsible attitude in all of his endeavors. This award is given this year to Cameron Michael Cashin. The Dartmouth Alumni Club Book Award Program recognizes and rewards high school students who have excelled both academically and in their extracurricular activities. This year, the Dartmouth College Book Award is given to Chase Mitchell Kill. The Harvard University Book Award is an achievement award from the Harvard Alumni Association awarded to the outstanding high school junior who displays excellence in scholarship and high character combined with achievements in other fields. This year's award is given to Axel Rara. The Yale College Book Award is an achievement from the Yale Alumni Association awarded to a junior demonstrating outstanding personal character and intellectual promise. This year's award is given to Jacob Weinstein. The Donna Isaac Award for Creative Writing is presented to the senior who has shown the highest aptitude and strongest inclination for producing creative written expression. The award is given in honor of Miss Donna Isaac, poet, STA educator, Right Place director, and longtime Cadence moderator who promoted creative writing at STA for a quarter century. It is given this year to senior Daniel Rehm.
Now I'd like to introduce the director of middle school, Mr. Jamie Jerkovich. Good morning. I have two awards, two for the seventh grade, two for the eighth grade this morning. The Middle School Director's Award is presented to the student who contributes to overall school life with consistent enthusiasm and cooperation, successfully strives to achieve excellence, and is involved in some activities outside the classroom. I'm proud to present the seventh grade award to Charles Crutchfield. And the winner of the eighth grade award is Teddy Farrell. Second award is called the Middle School Faculty Award. It is presented to the student who has made the most significant improvements in citizenship and academics over the course of the year. The seventh grade winner is Michael Del Vacchio. Let's give him a second round now. Thank you. And our eighth grade winner is Liam Brennan. I now turn over the podium to Mr. Doug Hoverson. The 2017 Bruce Johnson Government and Politics Book Award. Mr. Bruce Johnson enthusiastically taught social studies at St. Thomas Academy for over 30 years, including world history, sociology, anthropology, and psychology. He was most passionate, however, about teaching government and politics. His knowledge and enthusiasm for the topic inspired students to get involved with politics beyond the classroom, just as he did fighting for various causes, working on political campaigns, and leading student field trips to the Capitol in St. Paul and to Washington, D.C. with Project Close Up. He took great pride in securing as many spots as possible each year for cadets at Minnesota Boys State. He didn't shy away from a good debate on any political topic. He loved to read and was fond of sharing his discoveries with his students and colleagues. This year's book selection the Road to Character by David Brooks is presented to the student who most exemplifies Mr. Johnson's interest and enthusiasm for government and politics, both in the classroom and in the community. And I know many of us who knew Mr. Johnson would be wondering what he would be making of today's most interesting political climate. The Social Studies Department is pleased to recognize David O'Neill, class of 2017, as this year's recipient. Mr. Dean Simmons. Good morning. I have, uh, on behalf of the Social Studies Department, uh, the honor to present two awards. This year we had a lot of success in economics and finance. Our advanced placement teams placed third in the state for economics and we won the state championship in finance. This is also the first year that we competed at Harvard University at the most competitive um, high school economics competition. We had two teams place 
there, we had a third place team that tied for third and um, a team that tied for fifth. On an individual level, we also had the highest individual scorer of the entire competition. So I would like to present uh, a certificate from Harvard University to Daniel Rehm. Another competition we compete in every year in economics is the Federal Reserve Essay Contest. The ninth Federal Reserve Bank is located in Minneapolis, and every year they sponsor a competition for the ninth district, which includes North and South Dakota, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and the UP of Michigan. Uh, this year we had 10 finalists out of the 30. I would like to acknowledge those 10 um, in no particular order. Joseph Boyle, Ed Perry, John Haugie, Daniel Lee, Nolan Sullivan, Peter Gould, Marco Jerkovich, Michael Newcomb, Josh Benedict, and Jaden Logan. Out of these 10, that's quite an accomplishment already, although out of this 10, we actually had the best essay that was selected by a panel of, e of economists. And that award, which comes with a $400 cash prize, a paid summer internship following his freshman year in college, goes this year to Marco Jerkovich. I would like now to introduce our Dean of Academics, Mrs. Mechtel. I would like to recognize five seniors who were named National Merit Finalists. When I call your name, will the five seniors please come up? Please hold your applause until the end. Joseph Boyle. William Tracy. Daniel Rehm. Kenny McDonald. and Jacob Marvin. We also had five seniors who were named National Merit Commended Students. Will the five um, following five students please come up to receive your award? Nicholas Appitz. John Haugie. Marco Jerkovich. William Mayleben, and Michael Newcomb. Please give them a round of applause. Father Jane Dell will give the next awards. Ooh. 
Jesus Christ said, whatever you do for the least of my children, you do for me. The Robert Byrne Christian Service Award recognizes those students who have, in a particular way, combined both service and their faith, using their faith to recognize the dignity of the people that they serve to the point where it becomes a part of who they are and that it's a, in their very nature. And so this year we would like to award the Robert Byrne Christian Service Award to two of our campus ministers who live this out in a particular way throughout this entire school year. Would Tony Franks and David O'Neill come forward to please accept that award? <laughs> 